At Lowe's, we believe that updating your home doesn't have to take a ton of time or money. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> give us one weekend, we'll give you five projects. This is crazy. And you'll have a completely transformed space by Monday. Oh my God! Wow! <laughs> this is The Weekender. This weekend, Lowe's and I are helping out a couple with their kitchen makeover, and this is a really fun one, you guys. They wanna go for a maximalist style. They want color, they want pattern, and right now, this neutral space just isn't doing it for them. I am so excited to completely transform this space this weekend. So this is our kitchen. All right. It's a little bigger than I expected it to be. I'm excited about this one. So tell me kind of what do we have going on here? So we just moved in about a year and a half ago and we're kind of working on making the space our own. Right now it's toddler territory so we haven't had a lot of time to ourselves. Hi, I'm Jasmine. And I'm Eric. We're so excited to have Lowe's and Monica here to help us out with our kitchen. We are obsessed with the sound of maximalism and we're hoping they can deliver something we really love that's elevated and yet still mature with lots of color. So right now we just kind of leave it open. Our son usually likes to play out here. It's a super yeah. family friendly space yeah. we need yeah. and you like to entertain a lot. Yeah, guys? absolutely. We have a large family and we're a blended family. So this is kind of like our meeting area and it's really special. I feel like functionality wise and storage wise in here, you guys really have a lot of storage. Like you have a pantry here, you have an enormous pantry over there, plenty of cabinet space. So do you feel like functionally you have what you need in the space? Yes, definitely. Yeah, I yeah. definitely okay. think so. Feels more cosmetic, like just the style is yeah. Yes. Definitely want to go bright colors, like maybe get rid of this wood color on these cabinets, get rid of maybe this boring backsplash a little bit. I call the backsplash like gym sock gray. <laughs> I'm really obsessed with maximalist and a little bit of the grand millennial, but I need a little bit of help because sometimes when you do it, it can get super messy and look a little immature. You want maximalist, which to anyone at home means like a whole lot of color, a whole <laughs> lot of style, a lot of pattern, a lot of personality. That's exactly what people fear is like, you know, it's so much color, it's so much yeah. pattern, how do you do it right? So I think it was smart to ask for help and I'm so excited to do that because I love color. So the first Ooh. thing we're gonna do is remove all of the kitchen cabinet doors and then I'm not a fan of gym sock tiles. No. So we no. are gonna demo that tile too. Perfect. I can't wait. All right, Ooh, so part. we'll load out, we'll do some demo and then we'll start bringing in all the color. Perfect. Sounds good? Let's do it. This is gonna yeah. be fun. I love that these homeowners are willing to take design risks. Nothing is off limits. No color, no style, no pattern. They want it all. And they really want to just have fun and not take the space too seriously. Most demo, you wanna do it as carefully as you can so that you're not causing more work for yourself. We are gonna definitely have to do some patching here, but if we went in like crazy, we'd be causing more work for ourselves. All right, hard work is done for now, okay? <laughs> you guys did great. Now we're gonna move into painting the cabinet. All right, great. We've been, oh, we're so excited. I am really excited about the type of cabinets that you have because these, they're not super glossy, which means that for us and our process, it's not gonna be too hard. Oh, I'm so nervous. I can't wait. To be honest with you, I'm a little nervous too. This is like, this is bold. We're going bold. Friends. Okay, good, let's do bold. All right, are you guys ready? Oh. It's pink! <laughs> yes! All right. It's my favorite color. I'm so excited! Once you see it all come together, I'm mm. so confident that this is the right color for you guys, for your energy, for the vibe, and also it's gonna look so good in this kitchen. I promise you that. Okay. So this isn't the only paint we have. We're actually gonna do a little two-tone action okay. here. So let me Very show cool. you the second color. My pink! <laughs> it's my pink! <laughs> We're gonna do a combination. This will be the primary color, all right? Okay. So that's gonna be the bulk of the cabinets. Okay. And then this is gonna be our accent color. And now let me show you what we're gonna use as an accent. <gasps> These wooden applique pieces. We have all different sizes and we can like mix and match how we lay them out. I just thought they were the right amount of detail that will make these cabinets just breathe totally new life into them. I'm just so excited to feel like myself in my kitchen. Like Aww. this is so me and so cool. Before we can get any paint on, we're gonna hand sand a bit and just get any of the gloss off and then we can move on to actually getting some paint on these bad boys. 
What I really love about this cabinet and furniture paint is it gives you the look of oil-based paint, but this is so simple to work with. It has a good dry time, it has a good recoat time. It's so durable too, especially like you were talking about this being like toddler zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This will hold up against like the dings and the oh, nicks. Good. So our next project is totally going to help us lean into that maximalist style and vibe that we're going for. And already just seeing the frames painted, like, it feels permanent, it feels real, right? Oh, it's beautiful, it's perfect. Like, I couldn't have picked a better piece myself. What we're going to focus on is actually the soffit. So like, oh, cool. the soffit is where kind of all the utilities get put, where the wires, sometimes there's heat ducts. I decided that we're actually gonna draw more attention to them. I mean, we're maximalists, aren't we, right? Yes. So we are gonna wallpaper your soffit. Oh, I love wallpaper. <laughs> I thought you did. This pattern is so great. It was actually the inspiration for your entire kitchen design. All right, so. <gasps> It is, in my opinion, like the most fun paper ever. You're a mind reader. <laughs> this is so me. Like this is picture perfect. And this is peel and stick. Music to my ears. So yeah. much easier. We don't have to worry about glue or anything. Wallpaper is a great thing to pull inspiration from. I got color inspiration from this. I have project inspiration. It's just kind of setting the overall tone for the space. I just think that now the cabinets make sense. Yeah, this is the icing on the cake. Yeah. Well, I'm sure there's much more to come, but this is, it's gonna be a fabulous cake. It is going to be a fabulous cake, that is so true. Morning of day two, we stayed late last night and finished up a few things. We got a first coat of paint on all the walls and the ceiling in this pretty limey, light green color. It's so nice with the cabinetry. And we made our backsplash repairs so that we're good to go this morning with brand new tile. I really utilized Lowe's.com so much for this makeover. Of course, I went in store and got all the materials and things that I usually do, but I ordered some really unique specialty items on Lowe's.com. The wallpaper, the tile, some of the furniture. I just love that there's so many options online beyond the awesome things that are in the store. Well, this place looks different. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it looks great though. I love it. You're happy with it? I'm very happy with it. Good. I'm so glad. Yeah. Well, I think you're going to love this next project too. Okay. I think it's really fun. It's going to tie everything together and it's going to be your backsplash. So yesterday got these walls prepped for our new tile. So you ready to see it? Let's do it. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. I love it. This is great. You like? Yeah. Totally love it. Rather than picking one color or even two colors, I figured let's go all in. I think there are, what, seven colors here? Mm -hmm. But I'm bringing it back to the wallpaper. Mm -hmm. All of these colors can be found in there and that's what's gonna make it work. Do you think Jasmine's gonna like this? Oh my gosh, she's gonna go ballistic for yeah. this. First thing we'll do is we'll put up our mastic on the wall and that's basically like the glue that holds it. So we'll trowel that on, get it on, and then we'll start installing our tile. So the spacers are what gives room for the grout. So we're gonna use these little spacers because this is a hexagon and not square, these work better. We will lay as many in as we can full tile, but we are gonna have to cut some for sure. And for that, we'll use a wet saw outside. This whole kitchen is a wild card because right. it's like a lot of craziness that mm -hmm. you hope all comes together and this it's all coming together. It is. It is. All right, well, let's get that cut and okay. then we'll start working the other direction. Great. Nice work. Thank you. It's going well. All right, so I'm gonna have you help me with one final project and it's a fun details project. Oh, cool. So this area doesn't have any molding around it. So instead of putting molding around here, I thought it would be really fun if instead we freehand painted a bit around the edge. And I was thinking a scallop pattern would look super cute. I saw that over on the other side of the kitchen above the sink, it has like that old school scallop. A lot of people would get rid of that not in a maximalist kitchen, right? We're gonna enhance and do even more of it. And we're gonna do it so simply. We're just gonna use some plastic cups. So we'll just trace a bunch of these around the edges with pencil and then we'll freehand paint them. Perfect. It's fun, right? Yeah. 
It makes sense to start at one of the corners so that way you don't have a half C and then the next one will overlap just a bit. Yeah, I love it. And I love how affordable this project is to do. It's gonna make such a big difference in the room, but it's so inexpensive. Oh, absolutely. It's a fun alternative to traditional molding. We want this kitchen to be anything but traditional. We have our pattern drawn, and then I have two color options, and I'm actually gonna let you choose. Okay. Ooh, okay. All right, first option. Oh, I love it, it's so bold. A really bright teal color, and then is a darker shade of lime. So let's That's take tough. a look. This one is gonna be definitely more tone on tone, and then this is gonna give you significantly more contrast and bold. We're going with bold. <laughs> We're just gonna use one inch brushes that we have down there and start just painting right in. Just go for it, have fun with it. Go to town. Look back here. So cute. I'm glad you went with the teal. I think that was a good call. But it is that point where you hand over the paintbrush, you are banished from this kitchen, and Matt and I will finish it up. I'm cool. so excited to pull this room together. Appliances are gonna be a huge part of this kitchen. They needed some updated ones, and I figured why not, if we're updating them, also make sure that they add major style. Enter the Samsung Bespoke Appliances. I designed these on Lowe's.com where you can actually customize each of the panels. Appliances might not be the first place you think of to infuse some color into a room, but these ones have 12 different color finishes. The fridge comes plain, and then you choose the panels and then install them. I went with four different colors because obviously we're being maximalist in here. The panels snap right in and then they're magnetized. In addition to being an awesome high quality refrigerator, these panels actually make it like an art piece in the room. I think they're gonna be totally surprised by this and absolutely love it. These appliances also come in neutral colors. So we're kind of doing a combination in this kitchen of really bold and then also some neutral too to balance it out. One really cool thing about this range and stove is that it also has a built-in air fryer. Who knew? So cool. All right, on the count of three, you can open and see your maximalist kitchen. One, two, three. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Oh my wow. God. Wow. Monica, this is perfect! Can't think of me on you! <laughs> That's amazing! This is the coolest kitchen ever! Look at our fridge! Oh my god! That's the coolest fridge ever! Oh my gosh! Oh my god, a microwave! <laughs> and a microwave! The pink is really nice. It really ties in nicely here with the backsplash that we put in mm -hmm. and, and the wallpaper, of course. Look at this accent wall here. Yeah, we turned that into a little like coffee station. I feel like you guys had the right idea with one shelf, mm -hmm. but adding the second one there really makes it an area that's like more of a moment. The bones of this kitchen were great. It's big, it's open. We just needed to change up the style. I mean, even like your flooring now fits better. It really feels like our home now. This is such a good sized space that we were able to give you a bigger table than what you had before at an island. You can move it around. So still totally gonna work for entertaining. I can't believe what you did to my favorite cabinet. This is perfect. I love upcycling things, like it's so great. And I really like that the few shot on that side kind of balances out here. I loved working with you guys this weekend and it was fun to kind of just explore a different type of DIY. Maximalism can mean a lot of things to different people. For this, it meant bold color, bold patterns, not being afraid to mix and match. This feels more like your home to me, and I hope yeah. that you feel that way too. I couldn't have dreamed of anything better myself. We are so thankful for this opportunity. I'm inviting everybody over. What time does the party start tonight? Six, Six o'clock. All right. <laughs> Wrap it up, guys. <laughs> That was a fun weekend, and I would love to know what you think of this maximalist kitchen makeover, so leave a comment and let me know. And as always, we'll put all the product links in the description below, and before you go, hit that subscribe button. You don't wanna miss a single episode. Thanks, friends.